What's up video Fort nation? This is video for Ruan with another awesome video for tutorial. So once your compositing uh, is done in After Effects, we need to render our clip because obviously you need to upload it to YouTube or you need to give it to someone on a disk or email it maybe. So to start the rendering process, you're going to go up to composition right here at the top and then you're going to click on add to render queue. Okay, so that's going to open up your render queue and right here at the bottom, it's going to say output to and that's the file or the location where it's going to save your render. So very importantly, click on that and then you're going to tell uh, After Effects where to save this. So I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now and I'm going to call this final render. Okay, and then I'm going to click on save here at the bottom and then we need to go into the settings and choose the codec and all of those things. So here where it says lossless, I'm going to click on lossless and that will open the output module settings and this is where you configure all these uh, different codecs etc so right at the top where it says format here you can select your video format so obviously i am working on a mac so you might have a few different settings if you're working on a pc you might have something like avi so for now i'm just going to use quicktime and you should have quicktime on a pc as well and then we're going to click on the format options button here and this is where we select our video codec and um, usually for delivery to something like YouTube, you will use the H.264 codec. So let's look at a few other options that we have here. On a Mac, you've got your Apple ProRes codecs, really high quality, really good, um, like your Apple ProRes 422HQ. Okay, so if you're on a PC, you can download and install the Avid DNX HD codec, which is also a very good lossless codec for editing, etc. And then you can actually use the Avid DNX HD codec. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we're going to choose H.264, which is really good for delivery uh, to the internet, etc. Make sure that your quality is set to 100, and then I'm going to click on OK at the bottom. Okay, next, we're not really going to resize or crop our image, but you can enable this if you want to resize your video. Maybe you want to output this at uh, 720p, which is 1280 by 720 or maybe even something smaller if you want to email it to someone, etc but we're going to keep it the same output as the uh, original comp, which is 1920 by 1080. And then we've got our audio settings at the bottom. Obviously, we didn't do any sound on this, so you can either leave it on auto or you can switch it off. doesn't really matter. Okay, then I'm going to click OK to confirm all those settings. And then all you have to do is click on the render button here on the side. So click that and your render will begin. So that's basically it. Also, be sure to check out video4.com for some awesome clips to practice with. Cool, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.